Hey y'all, I hope you're having a spectacular day. Welcome to another episode of Super Experiment, where we're trying to solve the greatest mystery known to mankind, the struggle within the human body, muscles and joints, pain within, how do we solve pain? Specifically, talking about Michael's pain. And uh, this is visit five now. And today we're gonna deal with some stuff. We did a little recap, me and Michael earlier, but now we're gonna just jump right into it. You're gonna lay on your back face up, um, uh, pop your shirt off, and we're gonna solve this puzzle. So we've been doing body work and stretches and exercises. Michael has this left-sided pain, yeah, even further back here. So I, yeah, towards me. So I've placed these little pads here, and we're gonna work a lot on the front of the neck today. Um, because Michael has pain. We do not need to know how to solve The greatest mystery of all, the pain within the struggle inside. Um, it's gonna be great. Oh yeah, let's do this. Remember this? Take your arm straight. Hold it there. Reach forth. Bring five. Good, bring five of those. And then you're gonna tell me how you feel here heavier today. I bought a 25, totally on accident. How that feel? Starting to feel some tension up through here. Okay. But less pinching. Good. Yeah. Let's try the right side real quick. This is his good side. Quote unquote. Just kidding. Sorry. This is good side. Are you right hand dominant? Yeah. Okay, great. How's this side feel? More strong, more stable? Yeah. Don't feel your neck kicking in? No. So these are some of the dysfunctions we're dealing with, Michael. Uh, he tries to use his left arm, he feels bad stuff in his neck. We gotta make that stop. One thing we haven't worked on today is the front. So we created this... Come on in here, you. Come on in, friends. So I added this little block underneath him such that it, like his head would be here, but now because it's not, his head is falling downwards or shifting posteriorly going to give us access to the front of his neck and we're going to use this ball, the yoga ball. Uh, it's called the Alpha Ball from Tune Up Fitness. This is an honest sponsor post, but I just like their stuff. What you do with the ball, it's got some grip. The front of the neck has a lot of thin layers that are sensitive, obviously, that kind of cause that thing. So what we're going to do is try to grab onto those layers and free them up from each other. So I'm just going to turn it you know, clockwise a bunch of times, and then I go the other way. Turn it clockwise, go that way, it's a little more. Yeah. Yeah. So you just get in there, you start to twist it. <clears throat> Again, the layers of the soft tissue in the front of the neck are very thin. And so they require, they don't require a lot of pressure. Let's do about doing some narrating over this so not to talk the whole time, but that just sounds like extra work in the editing bay, and I'd like to be honest. So another thing you can kind of see here is the ribs, okay? Check this out, friends. The movement of... Uh, okay, so the movement of the neck and the movement of the ribs. You'll see as we go up and then relax. You'll see how they almost get pulled. That motion works together, which is lovely. We like that. Yeah. So we're just looking for bad soft tissue. This is something you can do at home. I've had a couple comments. I've asked, I've seen people ask about can they do some of this stuff at home? This is 
nice to do to yourself. It's nicer when someone else does it so that you can more fully relax. Like if you have to use your hand to do this, then it kind of becomes a little bit more, you can't relax as much, basically. Ooh. But if you get a good session where you free up the front of someone's neck, we'll be anyway. <laughs> so if, if he's having too much of a reaction, I'm gonna dial down the pressure. Pretty simple stuff. Um, but I want to like flirt with the edge of how much he can tolerate. Um, yeah, you can see the face. How much can you tolerate? How much transformation can you absorb, sir? That's really what we're asking, and the body takes time, but... That's it. Righty. Right side. G. Okay, we're gonna try to get these ribs to move. This is an old school Australian physio technique, but I'm just gonna have you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, we're gonna push the ribs down, and the ribs go here, go across like this opposite hip. Good. Breathe in. And then exhale. And we're going to bring them down and then roll them internally. Wow. Good. Breathe in. Then you're going to do them. Then I'm going to do them both. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. You guys see that? Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Up there. Uh, good. Fun. In the long term. Feel it in my shoulder. When I push on your ribs, you feel it in your shoulder? No, I'm feeling it like right here. Whenever patients tell you they're feeling it somewhere, that means they want you to work on that. No, that is what he's communicating. That's referred pain. Referred pain from what? I don't know. When I'm, where is it referring from? Probably from pushing my ribs down. Oh, okay. Got it. Sorry, referred discomfort. Why can't you say pain? Because it's not like quite painful. It's like it's like dull. Is your body giving you feedback? You yeah, know. Yeah, it tends to do that too much. You'd like a little less feedback, please. A little more constructive feedback, not yeah. just like aggressive, like you're wrong feedback. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Well, I don't know that the body is actually telling you you're wrong. I think that sounds like an interpretation. Now we're getting somewhere. This is therapy, guys. I'm Unso un uh, unwinding, solving the greatest mystery of all. Oh. Michael thinks that because he has pain, he has done something wrong. This is a grievous error. I hope that no clinician allows their patient to live in the illusion that you've done something wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, oh, wait, well, what do you mean you've done something wrong? Hold on, let's, let's take a look at this. This is fun. You haven't done anything wrong, right? Yeah. This is a, 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 an American guilt trip. I know I've got some foreigners around there. I'm sure you guys don't give yourself a hard time like Americans do. We take responsibility for our actions. Right there. <laughs> Dude, take a deep breath. And now, uh, an old chicken egg. And every time you exhale, say, I didn't do anything wrong. No, I'm just kidding. Tony Robbins sign, right? Ooh. Wow, tight. Breathe in. Uh, we didn't even start the clock. Dang it. Such a bad introduction. We keep going. Definitely gonna have to uh, start over again. That is crazy. Oh, now we're letting you go. What does that feel like? Oh, here 
your life. That's weird. Cool. Oh, you can see how much time's on there. Yeah, I know. We've been going about 10 minutes. We'll go about 25 minutes. Usually I hit the clock. It's like a nice, uh, in the beginning of the video, to be like, hey guys, there are strict restrictions and limitations. If they are, if they hung around to episode five, and by God, they know what's going on. You know the deal, don't you? Leave comments, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Hit the notification bell. It matters, by God. Oh man, if you have a patient like this now. I will concede that this is probably a little bit tighter because of the elevated position I have him in. So like typically if it's has here, this is gonna be a little bit more compressed, this front tissue, right? Now that I've got it back, we're starting to open it up. Let's check these ribs again. Ooh, that's better. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. I'm gonna guide it down with the sternum. You can see this shoulder pulling forward. Oh, Now this rib maneuver I'm doing is also very similar to the sit-ups I have been doing over a foam roller for a home exercise. I know, I know, I know. So we're just going back layer after layer, just being a really rude person here today. God, God. You can see almost like, well, you start to see like the, the lines, the wrinkles. That is where the so Ooh, hey, oh, hey, oh. fascinating. No, you don't have to let go. You can do whatever you want. I was saying that let go. I felt a little pop. I feel it in my shoulder, like right there. Yeah. That's called referred pain because when we, ooh, that's softer. When we mess with that, you feel it down there. And so thinking that there is a problem in the front of the shoulder isn't wrong, you've got a problem there. I'm not saying you don't. It seems as though it's coming from inside the house. The files are in the computer. The, they're inside the computer. You've got a mold. The body is rebelling against you. Again, greatest mystery of all. You versus you, oh. with a little help from me. I was gonna say evolution. Evolution, we've kind of figured it out. I think ev the evolutionary mindset is a little sketchy. We were talking about it last time, bro. Evolution is all about scarcity. There's no such thing as scarcity. The universe is literally expanding upon itself, acting as if there's scarcity is the There's no lack. There's food everywhere. There's no inadequacy. Your body is perfectly evolved to help you deal with this pain. And you've done nothing wrong. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you're like, I really needed that. I mean, it like it will help a lot if you don't think that you're wrong. Like, it's not like if you have pain. This is the thing that happens with a lot of patients. Michael's chill about this, but a lot of people think that because they have pain, they're like a bad person. They're not just done something. You, I mean, no. Keep breathing. Yeah, damn, yeah. Anterior neck, hardcore today. Wow. Breathe. Let it out. Neck has never felt better. So that's his body fighting what I'm wanting to do. Your body does not want me to make changes there. I think you should look, do you think you should do it anyway? I'm doing it anyways. I just, that's why, I like, that's why I said the, the battle within, I'm black. I feel like I'm not battling, it's not necessarily, ooh, that was a little pop, what was that? Interesting. My bicep slash shoulder. Your bicep shoulder popped? Right here. Or you feel it in your bicep shoulder? No, I got a little pop right there. Did, okay. So I felt that pop come over this way. Right there. God. Okay, a little scrapey scrape time. Let's mix it up. You gotta hit him with the one, two. We're gonna fight the good fight. Dude, we're gonna bring all the people to battle today. All the ammunition, all the warriors. 
So I'm doing a pretty light pressure here, okay? This is not a heavy pressure. Okay? Can confirm. Yeah, and you can see when it turns a little bit more red there, that's where you want to focus. If you can't feel the, you can obviously just see that he doesn't like it. And by he, I mean his body. Michael, yep. the, the essence of who Michael is, loves this. The adaptations that Michael's body has made are like, um, we're not comfortable with that. Now there's a whole school of theory that literally is like all of therapy should be to open up your airway. This is why one of the, like a lot of the breathing stuff is so very popular. Because if you change the way you breathe, you can change a lot of things. Now I'm just gonna go try to make some structural changes in his like literal airway here. So there is compression and constriction through the anterior side of the neck, which is right where his airway goes. And if we can open that up and make it Free and clear and under control. That's so good. <laughs> so I often think like Michael is also pointing to hit the back, like the literally the opposite area of this, the base of the neck, and maybe a little bit below the base of the neck. Um, kind of the top between the shoulder blades, right? Like the opposite side of your body from here, correct? Mm -hmm. That and base of the skull. That and base of the skull. And we've worked through that. We haven't really worked through the base of the skull. We need to do some occipital work. I'm down for that. We are on a tear today. Look at this time. We're making it. If I, like I said, I've gotten a little, now that I'm thinking about the whole treatment complex of all this, like if I could just accomplish one good thing each visit, you know what I mean? Instead of casting my seed to buy my seed, you get it? I get it. Full day, TBD. So why is this coming down in here? It's, it's moving down now? It's like... So it was higher up before. It's this area, generally. Yeah. Okay. Why? Yeah. That's what you compensate. Whenever, so when this becomes compressed, that goes forward. That also becomes compressed in order to make up for that. Um, so when I'm trying to release this, this has not been released. Your body has habituated that grasping uh, mechanism to make up for the lack of neck that you've got. Um, and so I've got to basically break the habit here. Break the habit of the other one too. Whoa. That's crunch, bro. Wow. A little cross friction. A little cross friction and crunch. No big deal. Jim and crack, corn, and I don't care, man. That is crazy. Wow. Michael, what are the best restaurants in LA? You're an LA boy. Depends what you want. Uh, I'm looking for some like Chinese flavor. Mid to low budge. Chinese flavor? Chinese, the taste of China. Uh, Din Tai Fung is pretty good. Bao. Bao buns and dumplings and... Oh my. Mm -hmm. Calvin, Calvin. Uh, the neck is, your girlfriend's gonna be like, where did you get this hanky from? Girlfriend. I got it from the doctor. I got it from the good doctor. Checking the time, 20 in. Right here. Take a deep breath. So I'm using this little lip to get just on the inside there. 
and he loves it more than anything. Let's see if we can't fight through that. That uh, sympathetic response. Demons are coming out of that arm, brother. So many demons in this arm. So many demons. Fight the demons. Oh, too much. Lubrication. Wow. Let's do a couple of them first. Watch the time jet. Oh, hello. Just like there is this uh, Japanese type of therapy uh, called isogen, where it's um, literally like bonding, bound bondage, where they like will literally like tie your legs together and make you sit there for an hour, or just strap your arm like down to the table, so that when you have these kind of like reactions, that your body is unable to like go through them all. And so there's like these videos of like people in these rooms just like sweating and like writhing in Japan. It's uh, it's just one way to do stuff, you know? I don't know how effective it is. I imagine it's effective um, because I tried it myself. I uh, put some like uh, belts around my legs basically and just like watched a movie for like an hour and a half like with my legs together. It's crazy how much your body wants to move around. You don't really think about how like fidgety you are. Um, and you get to kind of see all these patterns and habits that you have that are like, yeah, crazy. Oh. 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 There's one way to treat people. But Michael certainly has some habits. And this is one of the reasons why we suggest you go work out, but work out with a little bit more awareness, I guess you could say because though like the main goal with doing any exercises or body work is to break a habit and hopefully create space for a new habit to form there is the time coming right upon us right upon us bro 25 minutes of anterior neck carnage is that what this is yeah that's the title of this episode neck carnage neck carnage 25 minutes of neck carnage. Probably started talking in a couple minutes, so like we'll just do an extra 60 seconds. I don't really know what the time is. We're going in blind today, Paul. It is a Saturday. You know, it's a little bit more chill. I mean, not for Michael's anterior neck. This is going to be very unchill. Uh, you're going to feel a lot of things over the coming days. Uh, this, there's a lot of sensitivity in this. Guys, it's 25 minutes on a thing. I'm going to give it another 30 just because I'm not really sure what it says. I feel like you guys give me 30, you guys give me 30, yeah, we're going to pull 30. Because we did get this side to calm down a little. Well, oh, never mind, it's about to do something. That one's a little less hard, less um, easy. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Last thirty. I like it. Whenever I lift this thing up, we are done, partner. I mean, you're getting totally. I mean, the I, the muscles we're working today, by the way, SCM left and right are big culprits. And those SCMs are controlling a lot of, generally side bending and rotation are what they're doing. So you'll see, I mean, obviously ear to shoulder side bending, vast rotation. Michael has a combination of those, except he does a little bit of opposite. He does, <clears throat> he'll kind of writhe into extensions. Well, the other part is we're having him lay with his head back here. I don't know if you can feel like this whole thing. This is another trick, like you're sitting further back, like so that when you get up, it should feel more natural Going back, shoot, I said pick it up. This is the last one. Okay. Uh, hold. Gee. This feels pretty. It feels like sandpaper, like little stones underneath there. Uh, but you do have to develop a little bit of a sense of skill with it. Guys, it's been beautiful. It's been wonderful. We're going to turn this camera off. We're going to have a lovely little Saturday. We're going to come back tomorrow. We're going to work on some other stuff. We're going to see what how Michael's reacted to anterior net carnage day, bro. Thank you all for watching. Peace and love.